I'm Kathy. Welcome to my patio. Today we're going to make a lemon painting. And if you think you can't paint, yes you can. I'm going to show you how it's drawn. It's not a, a, a pre-made picture or anything, so everyone's is going to look a little bit different, which I love because that makes it entirely yours. What you're going to need is a little bit of paint. You're going to need this is a lemon yellow, and it's a folk art paint. This one is just a yellow, okay? I mixed those two together about half and half to get the color I wanted. Now, um, I have just a, it's called bark brown, that I'll use a little bit here and there, and then I'm gonna mix some of this cobalt blue with a tiny bit of black in it, because I really wanted a navy, and I didn't have a navy, and I'm gonna use a little bit of the Waverly uh, chalk paint. Um, this is a, hmm, it doesn't, let's see, Lagoon is what it's called. Okay, and then I got this big one, and these are gonna actually be mixed together, and as you can tell, these are very well-used bottles of paint. And this one is Grotto, G-R-O-T-T-O, -T -T Grotto, maybe Grotto. Um, and those are chalk paints. The others are all acrylic. Um, I started doing uh, this painting. So let me turn this around and show you what I've got going here. Hi, okay, I'm back. I put the other coats on the lemon and they definite, it definitely needed it. Some places I had to put four coats. So if I were you and I were gonna try something similar to this, I would probably base coat it first in white a couple coats, and um, that would save you your colored paint then. Okay, so I did that, did two or three, let's see, this has four coats on it now, and then I took the end of my paintbrush and dipped it in brown paint and just made these random little, little dots, and more so in the middle there, and then, I took my fan brush, I love fan brushes, and I just, all my paint's dried up now, I just daubed it in the paint and you kind of do it dry, and I just went around and made some brown marks like this, in literally just different directions in the, the lemon, uh, the outside of the lemon, just to give it a little bit of, of color is all. And then through here, I. I painted it with the, the white, but it was with my yellow paintbrush that was had been loaded with yellow. So it's just a little bit off white. And now I'm outlining. I like to outline things. Um, it it, it kind of makes it look a little more, I think, I will just call it cartoony, but I like that look that's not you know, it's not supposed to resemble a real lemon. It's just supposed to make you think of a lemon, okay? And that's usually the kind of paintings I do. Um, I think they're really cute. And they're, they're a little bit on the whimsical side. So, you know, you can, you can mess up a little bit and it will be okay. Then down here, I'm gonna turn this around. Uh, down here, I put the two big leaves, and then I just put a little bit more white in the paint in between the leaves, and um, painted these little, three little areas, little bitty areas there. So there it is, that it goes like this, and I cut out on my Cricut a little, um, a little saying that I heard on YouTube, um, uh, Oh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it really wasn't a saying the way they said it, but it was just talking about starting to do a YouTube channel. So I've got to go get it, and I think it's an iron-on, so I'm probably going to have to press it onto this board, and then I'll be back and show you the finished product. So far, so good. Here's the finished product. See, it says, start before you are ready. And I hope it's not backwards for you. I'm, st And that's one of the things I will tell you. 
This is only my third or fourth one to be recorded, actually, my videos. I've been uh, practicing and practicing and watching YouTube shows and all this kind of stuff. And um, I, I thought it had to be perfect before I got started. So bear with me because I was listening to a man the other night. And I will find out what his name is and give him credit for this statement he made. But he said, don't wait. Start before you're ready. And I thought, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I put it on my lemon that's going to go on my wall. And I think it looks really cute on there. Um, that came. This came from the Cricut. It was um, one of them. And if you subscribe to Cricut, it's free. So I thought it was really cute. I like that. Um, so this one is how it's going to be, and it's going to be hung on my wall that way, and it was just made out of a Dollar Tree, one of my signs that I used at Thanksgiving time. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. To sh I will show you how to make these the next time. Here's the finished product. See, it says start before you are ready. And I hope it's not backwards for you. I'm, st And that's one of the things. I will tell you, this is only my third or fourth one to be recorded, actually, my videos. I've been uh, practicing and practicing and watching YouTube shows and all this kind of stuff. And um, I, I thought it had to be perfect before I got started. So bear with me because I was listening to a man the other night and I will find out what his name is and give him credit for this statement he made. But he said, don't wait. Start before you're ready. And I thought, okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I put it on my lemon that's going to go on my wall. And I think it looks really cute on there. Um, that came. This came from the Cricut. It was um, one of them. And if you subscribe to Cricut, it's free. So I thought it was really cute. I like that. Um, so this one is how it's going to be, and it's going to be hung on my wall that way, and it was just made out of a Dollar Tree. Okay, here we go. Now, you can see that I started this painting a little bit here, and all I did was, well, first of all, let me show you this side. It's one of these sides, okay? And I just wanted a partial lemon. So I, I drew kind of like a circle, however big your, your square is. And then I just made a little dip here for that little end of the lemon. And then I just put three, didn't have a pattern, just do, drew three teardrops. This one's a little elongated. And I'm gonna paint this inside with kind of a, a white, but I'm not gonna wash my yellow paintbrush. I'm gonna use my yellow paintbrush. And then up here in the corners, I have a little more lemon that would just go, you know, on around. And then we will outline this. We'll put some white streaks in it. When you follow it step by step, it really, really is easy. Okay. Um, I have my palette here that has a little bit of paint left in it. Um, the reason I started this uh, and didn't do the whole thing on camera is because um, this these boards soak up the paint like crazy. And so I thought, well, I'll go on and get a couple coats on there. You could put white on there if you wanted, or you could paint your whole board. Uh, Might have been the, the better option to do, actually. But um, anyway, I thought, well, I'll get a little bit on there, and that way then you can see see more what it looks like without watching paint dry. <laughs> that, you know, they used to say about that was the most boring thing. It was like watching paint dry. So I didn't want to be boring, that's for sure. But yeah, this coat is looking oh so much better. Look at that compared to this one. Isn't that much, much better? And it's probably gonna even take another one. So I might in a minute here, after I talk a few minutes, I might turn this back off and get some more of this paint on here. Um, when you're painting anything that's longer, like this, um, these teardrops, if you notice, I'm just going down 
following it and going right back up. And just that way, rather than going short little strokes, it gives you a nice, even look. And it, it covers pretty well too that way. Um, okay, we are just about to go to our, is this a rhyme? Is that what that is? I don't exactly know what to call it. But I'm gonna go around that and just kind of make that little bump out there. And then the, I've kind of tossed around what to do out here. Actually, we could do some really big leaves. That might be pretty. But then I pulled out the blues, and I thought, well, maybe I'd make it kind of kind of more like a, a sky, but I'm still not, not really sure what I want to do. I'm kind of leaning toward maybe a couple big leaves. Um, that would be, be really pretty. But um, whatever you decide, if you want to kind of pick up some of your decor that's in your house already, and put a sky, maybe you have blues, or if, um, might put more of a reddish sky if you have reds or something. Uh, there's a variety of things you can do. I wanted lemons in on my patio for the summer. I just thought, oh, that just looks so pretty. And I have, um, as you can, well, you can't see behind me because I'm in front of the, the door. But my walls are um, kind of a, a real light teal. And um, really, lots of things go with it really well. I was kind of surprised that it went so well with it, but um, it does. So now I'm going to do a little bit of the white, and I'm just going to go on and go right in between them, even if your painting touches, still go in between. And just give it a little division there. Just a little bit. That's all we've got to do. And I'm using the same paintbrush. It has a little bit of the yellow in it, but mainly it has the white in it. And it's all acrylic, as I said. And um, we're going to have a bigger one over here. And a little bit over here. I made another sign earlier today that I'm going to show you um, how to do also. And um, our internet went out. So I was wanting to do easy, easy uh, lettering on my Cricut, but when the internet went out, I have a Cricut that requires requires the, the internet. So I just did it by hand. And when you're thinking Cricut and then you do it by hand, it's, I mean, it's pretty and it's definitely, you know, different, but it's not Cricut. Now there's the lemon, and I think it's gonna need another coat, so I will do that off. And I think too, well I got you here, I think if I can find my, probably my one and only pencil. Oh, I have two pencils, okay. I think I'm gonna do a big leaf, and all I'm gonna do is just make marks like that and like that and then i have one two three tiny little open spaces and i'll just probably sponge a little bit of a lighter green or something in it these will be a little bit darker green and i'll sponge some lighter green in that so i'm going to turn it off right now because we're already at seven minutes
and I'm going to put another coat on this and I will be back and I'm going to do the leaves. So be back in a flash. Okay, one more quick look at the finished product. You'll see it turned out really cute and it looks good hanging on my wall. I hope you guys get a chance to paint a lemon. You can paint a whole one or paint a, par a portion of one like I did. Have fun with this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.